calibrated love charisma. There are two kinds of charisma. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. One is powerful but not flexible. One is very flexible but you don't notice it until you feel this. The first is the kind of charisma most people have experienced. Those gifted folks. Confident, outgoing, attractive, larger than life. They walk into a room and everybody notices. To be them, life is pretty easy. You just need to show up and everybody wants you. You only need to pick who gets you. Those who have this trait don't really know that they have this trait. Since they don't know what it's like to not feel this way, the way they normally feel, they just assume this is normal. They can't understand why others can't just be this way. It's easy for them, so it should be easy for everybody else, right? These are the folks that make great salespeople, politicians, and natural players. Then there's the second kind, the kind that nobody notices until they are in a conversation with you, until they start to feel things they've never felt before, until they start to think about you in ways they've never thought about anybody. Most people experience this kind of charisma haphazardly. The famous click people feel when they meet their soulmate. These are the kinds of rare conversations that lead to rare relationships that are later remembered as love at first sight. And the word click is a pretty good label. You have a whole bunch of things about you. They have a whole bunch of things about them. Kind of like two huge halves of two huge jigsaw puzzles. When you meet, you simply click into each other and become whole. But this kind of click can be engineered. You can be a kind of potential jigsaw puzzle that can morph to fit into any other jigsaw puzzle of any size. Not to game or con anybody, but just to make them feel really good. So long as you don't make any overt promises or anything, this is a good way to roll a kind of highly calibrated charisma, the kind of charisma that is based on other people's unique characteristics, other folks' unique jigsaw puzzle pieces. This is very similar to sales. The first kind of charisma gives the same sales pitches to everybody. The second kind gives highly calibrated sales pitches to people based on their own unique, carefully elicited wants and needs. Done in a party situation, it's much, much more powerful. Kind of like a very low-key potential charisma. The kind that you can use on anybody with varying levels of intensity. Kind of like your own secret love switch to become the person they've been looking for. To learn more, visit mindpersuasion.com forward slash 3x3.